Examining the ear is one of the primary methods used for diagnosing patient complaints for the entire ear-nose-throat complex. The otoscope helps you view the ear canal and the tympanic membrane with clarity. The basic steps are the same for any otoscope, but we'll be showing you how to use our Welch Allen MacroView otoscope, which allows you to see three times the area of the ear canal and tympanic membrane than a traditional scope in a single view. There are two common ways to hold the otoscope, and it's all a matter of preference. Some clinicians choose to hold the otoscope like a hammer, gripping the power handle between your thumb and forefinger close to the light source. For more control, some clinicians choose to hold the otoscope like a pencil, between the thumb and the forefinger, with the ulnar aspect of the hand resting firmly but gently against the patient's cheek. With any ear exam, you'll want the patient to sit down and slightly tilt their head away from you to obtain easier access to their ear. Turn the scope on at full intensity. Align the green marks on the focus wheel to ensure you're operating at the default position. Attach a new disposable ear tip or speculum. It's best practice to examine the healthy ear first. This allows you to see the patient's normal ear anatomy and compare to the other ear while helping to prevent the spread of infection. Straighten the outer ear canal to make insertion of the speculum easier. Guide the otoscope into the patient's ear to view the canal and tympanic membrane. Adjust the focus wheel during the examination if necessary. With a basic otoscope, you may need to pan around more to get a complete view. After the examination, the used disposable speculum should be removed and discarded. Twist the speculum off by hand or rotate the MacroView tip grip to eject the speculum. The insufflator bulb can be used to help determine if there is fluid behind the eardrum, which can be a sign of infection. Using Welch Allen soft seal tips can help provide a better seal against the ear canal wall making it easier to see movement of the tympanic membrane. Use the insufflator bulb to gently puff air at the thin membrane. 